quick little uh, little tip, maybe. Um, I'm actually test driving something that I heard or watched on the on the uh, internet on the internet. Um, and that would be cleaning your strings with alcohol. Um, there are some concerns regarding that, uh, which I'll get into later. But first, I want to let's strum a little bit. Let's just see what it sounds like pre-cleaning. Because supposedly it cleans them up, and it was indicated that it's equal to boiling your strings. Well, this sounds to me a little bit dead. Some of the strings are dead. Um, and if you back watch any of my videos, which uh, I don't know if you want to go through that kind of pain, you'll see that I did a full fret job on this guitar, um, cleaned it up, um, dressed up everything, cleaned some glue that someone had on here off the uh, bridge area, and uh, just dialed it in and put new strings on it. So I can't remember how old uh, these strings are, probably a good year or so. Um, and it's been played moderately, not a whole bunch, but it has been played consistently for the past year. And so what we're going to do um, is talk about the concern first, is alcohol is somewhat of a, an accelerant. And what that means is that it will evaporate quickly. And when things evaporate quickly, if they get on something that you don't want them to, they can take some of the uh, natural oils and such out. Uh, you little ding dong. So yeah, one of the things I did was let me try this angle here. Was uh, put some uh, fresh stuff on the. Uh, oh, it's going to be too big, but we're going to have two. Oh no. What I want to do is get this wax paper, that's what this is, underneath here. We've already tested it to see if uh, alcohol is soaked through it. But what I'm trying to accomplish here is avoiding getting any uh, the alcohol on the fretboard because I don't want to dry out the fretboard, which is what an accelerant would certainly tend to do to wood especially if it's been treated and you want to keep the natural oils in the, the other um, emollient or whatever you put in the, the uh, you know, if you regularly treat your, uh, your fretboard, which I don't, I do want to change the string, so this hasn't been done for a year, but I did the bridge as well, and you can see it's holding up pretty good. So anyway, I wanted to use cloth, but I don't have any pure white cloth to use so I'm going to use a paper towel and that would be to demonstrate how much oil or grease or whatever is coming off it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab it on here and this is 91% rubbing alcohol um, I saw 75% but I said you know what I bet you uh, I bet you uh, 91% will work better than 75 all day long. Well, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to this particular string here. I can still see some darkness over here. I don't know if that can be seen in the picture. But there's absolutely nothing on the paper towel either. But well, we're going to continue moving forward with this. string down. I'm trying to wrap the uh, the uh, paper towel around the string. Wow, that's trippy. Good more than making noise like that. And still I see nothing on this rag. No, 
probably see something. Do the do the uh, non wound strings the high end? Here. Strangling a bird. <clears throat> anyway, there's that. And there's just a little bit of a gunge on there. I would have thought that I would have got more off of there with this process. I see some discoloration down here like it's um, wanting to corrode. So, fortunately, that stuff didn't cost me that much. I'll probably have other uses for it. But it doesn't seem to have done anything. So I'm going to temporarily take this back off. <clears throat> At least not a whole bunch. But let's test drive it sound wise. It doesn't sound that different. It doesn't sound like I just put a brand new set of strings on, which is. Um, what was indicated that might happen. So I'm going to temporarily pause this video and then uh, come back with another type of cleaner that I will try and see if it will brighten up the strings and make a difference in the sound. Okay, I took the trouble of uh, replacing the uh, or putting the uh, wax paper back so you don't have to watch me fumble with that again. Um, I'd recommend always doing that whenever messing with your strings, cleaning them somehow with, with something um, so that you don't affect the finish or the, uh, or the uh, fretboard um, with whatever chemicals or such that you're, you're using. And uh, yeah, so and wax paper is, won't harm the, the finish. Um, don't use foil because that could scratch your finish on the guitar. Um, you can use any kind of thing, but you want to test drive it before you, you don't want to just use paper because um, a lot of stuff will soak right through that. Um, <clears throat> test drive whatever it is that you're going to, uh, to use. And the way I did it was I put a paper towel underneath for the alcohol anyway and dumped some alcohol on top of the wax paper and to see. And then I smelled the paper towel and see if there's any soak through and there was zero. So this is pretty much impervious to uh, alcohol and what we find next, which is regular 409, um, which is a degreaser. Um, definitely don't want to use anything like acetone or that seems to be doing something. Acetone or uh, lacquer thinner or anything like that. I'm thinking that you could probably use um, lighter fluid, like for charcoal. Ooh, the paper's ripping over. Okay, let's get this bottom half here a little bit first. it might be okay. Draw this back this way. This full of nines kind of eating through this. Maybe we're testing this first. But uh, it appears to be doing something here. Let's just keep going. Ain't making that weird noise. budget and you can't afford to buy new strings constantly. Um, uh, I don't think I have a new set of strings for this just yet. I have plenty for my other guitars including my 12 string and I have a set right there for the, uh, for the HB30. By the way, I have not finished it. I just am taking a break from that situation to, to test drive this, and I want to get the strings cleaned up on this. So I don't need this anymore. So is that I can uh, 
do my uh, C major chord lesson video from my other channel. Okay, let's try that and see if it's a little brighter. The uh, strings look a little better. Ooh, knock that over. So, try it. strings down here will rust. Um, even these brass rounds will start to tarnish and as they tarnish you'll get some uh, some deadening. So best thing to do is if you want a fresh sound is replace your strings but I think you can do a little bit of a uh, cleaning on them. And it's good to clean them once in a while and so but do be careful of your finish. And, uh, and if you want to see the full uh, refurbishing of this particular, it's a breed love on my channel. There's, I think, I think there's actually a specific, uh, like, uh, what do you call it, area that you go to. You can watch the whole series. Um, might be interesting. Might be interested in, uh, in refurbishing one of your acoustic guitars. So anyway, that's it for today. I'm going to go record my C chord, C major chord uh, lesson video, and with that, we'll see you next time with the HB30 once again, where we'll go over the uh, the neck on that particular guitar. Toodles.